Jack Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So, my buddy the prop smith went ahead and challenged myself and the fellow over at Armory Terrain to go ahead and make a LARP sword. Uh, he challenged us because he was challenged to make a Wasteland Cup. So, I figured I'd go ahead and make this sword and, uh, you know, see how it works out. Because it's a challenge, I decided to make a sword a little bit differently than I normally make weapons, uh, you know, sort of as a challenge to myself as well. So I'm hoping it turns out okay. Um, now, as far as following along, if you want to make a weapon like I'm making, you know, I would suggest go ahead and do it. Uh, but it's important to always check your rules uh, to make sure that the weapon is going to be safe for your LARP. So without further ado, here's my response to your weapon challenge and uh, hope you find it interesting. So the sword I'm making today is going to include a fiberglass core and it's going to be made from basically you know floor mats which is EVA foam and you can find this stuff anywhere if you go to a uh, like a big box sort of like home improvement store or if you go to like a department store you should be able to find this stuff obviously I would suggest going to the cheaper ones uh, to save yourself some money as far as what you're going to need basically uh, one of these driveway markers a piece of this foam uh, depending on the size of the sword you might need more than one piece you're going to need yourself a good razor something to measure with and mark straight lines with probably a marker uh, you're going to need plasti dip you're going to need some sort of adhesive whether it's a dap or dap uh, or whether it's like barge glue or something that's going to be able to hold that foam together uh, you know depending on your LARP safety rules you may need a piece of cloth you may need open cell foam uh, you may need something to put on the tip of the fiberglass rod but I mean basically you're gonna have to check the rules for your LARP to see what's required if you're using this at a LARP where it's just like really light touch and the safety checks aren't you know really stringent then you can probably get by just you know making a simpler version of this but I'm gonna go ahead and make this so that it's safe to use and that I feel it will pass at some of the games that I play at and as far as length and all that you don't need to check like I said your games rules for that as well and uh, if they have any sort of standards as to how much foam has to be on each striking surface then you'll want to uh, make sure you measure that out now I know it uh, some of the games that I go to, they require a five eighths of an inch on each striking surface. I'm sorry, I don't know how many centimeters that is, but it's five eighths of an inch. Uh, so a little bit over half an inch on each striking surface. So I'm gonna make sure that I measure this out so that there's at least five eighths on all striking surfaces. And then basically we're gonna go ahead and just, you know, draw our lines on here, pick the shape of the sword. I'm gonna go pretty standard here, straight lines. I'm going to draw it, you know, this direction, but if you wanted to make a longer weapon, you could draw it on an angle, but you're going to go through more foam. As far as these uh, fiberglass cores, I mean, if you're using something like this, if it's too long, you can always cut it down uh, just with a saw. And then once you cut this out, you just need to cut out a little middle chunk that you can put the core in. And then you're basically just going to cut out two more pieces exactly the same size and we're going to just go ahead and glue these together like a sandwich. And you want to make sure that you put this piece of fabric over each side to sort of help prevent this core from tearing through. Or at least that's what some people believe. And then once you have it all together you have something that looks like this. So, you know, it basically looks like a sword and I mean at this point in time, I mean really, if this is, you know, just something to use for NPCs or if you're just going to use it to, you know, hit people in your backyard or something, I mean, you might stop here. This might be all you need to do. But if you want it to look good, you don't need to come back in and we're going to shape this so it looks more like a sword blade. And uh, we're going to add a cross guard and a hilt, a grip, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll get started on that. For the cross guard, it's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and use you know, some more foam, cut out, you know, an interesting shape. Then we'll go ahead and we'll just slide it on here and basically glue it on. For the grip, you can use, you know, a piece of dowel rod. 
you could just build this up with tape. You could use a grip from a tennis racket, you know, a grip from a fake sword, a golf club, you know, whatever you can slide on here basically to use as a grip. And then for, you know, your pommel, I mean, you can use whatever you want there again. Um, I'm just gonna use a piece of foam and glue it on basically. So, I got this sword, I got the blade, I got the edges, and then I decided this thing is way too fat. So, we're gonna put on a diet here. I've made some new lines, we're gonna recut it, and that's where the blade's going to end. I also cut down the piece of fiberglass as well. So we're gonna cut this. Um, instead of using the method I used before, I'm actually gonna use my jigsaw, because I can cut angles with it, and, uh, Go ahead and do that, and then show you what it looks like when that's done. Then we're gonna start working on the cross guard. So now that we got this blade looking basically how we want it to look, the next step is the plasti dip, and uh, I think we all know how that works, just spray it on. And then of course we'll need to let this dry because we're gonna need uh, multiple, multiple coats before this starts to look anything like what we need it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply all of those coats and then we'll work on our grip and our pommel. So about five months ago, back in May, uh, the prop smith challenged myself and Armory Terrain to a sword building contest. Well, it's taken me a while. I had a few setbacks, but finally I finished the sword and this is it. So, you know, it's a small sword, but uh, you know, I think it turned out, you know, pretty good. You could totally use it in combat. And, uh, you know, I added a few little decorations onto it, um, you know, to try to sort of spruce it up a little bit, but, the reason it took me so long to make this is because um, after I had finished it the first time, I had it tied to my vehicle uh, brush guard and I forgot it was drying and I took off down the road and I ended up running it over. So this sword was actually run over um, by my vehicle and it still survived. The cord didn't break. The foam was a bit chewed up, but um, I was able to find all the pieces because uh, the palm went flying off and uh, I was able to put it back together and rebuild it. Uh, so I'm glad that I did get it back together and I'm able to show it to you. Now as far as the sword itself, um, you know, you saw basically how I built it. You know, it's it's uh, foam, yeah, it's plasti dip, not latex over top of it, and then a uh, plasti dip glossifier with some metalizer to make it uh, shiny. I'm not really in the sun here, but the sword itself is actually pretty shiny if it's in the sun. But uh, yeah, this is how it turned out. Now as far as the challenge is concerned, I, uh, I know who my vote is for and it's not for me. <laughs> so you can check out all their videos. I'm gonna post the links down below. You can check out the Propsmith sword, you can check out Armory Train sword, and then you can check out my sword and you can make your own decision. But um, you know, this is mine, this is how it turned out. Like I said, nice little short sword. And uh, you know, it's, you know, I think passable at most LARPs. If you have a LARP that would pass like a uh, Kalamazil or a foam injection mold type weapon, then I'm sure that this would pass. If you're making your own, um, you know, my video, I just kind of showed you the steps I went through. It wasn't really meant to be a tutorial. Um, you can find tutorials online though, and also you don't have to check with your game because every game is a little bit different um, and they may not allow certain things. So you'll have to uh, see what they say. But um, later on, I do plan to do a full tutorial on a couple of different styles of sword making instead of just the uh, pool noodle style boffers. But um, for now, hey, that's the sword. And uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and uh, let your friends know about my channel. And of course, as always, adventure on.